Well, my name is Wes Taylor. Uh, I'm the owner of Taylor Construction and Design. Um, you know, I came to Lifeline July of 2013. You see, when I was 16 years old, I had a car accident with my dad and I became addicted to prescription opiates. And uh, that started me down a path that I never in a million years thought I would go down. I struggled with opiate addiction for about four years. And when I was 21, I became introduced to methamphetamine. Where I grew up, methamphetamine was a huge drug and uh, it ran rampant in our town. It was the epidemic of where I grew up. It was more of an epidemic than than heroin is an epidemic now. And uh, I began to steal from my family. I began to steal from my friends. I began to do things that I never dreamed I would do. I always thought I was just a little bit smarter than everybody else. I always thought that I could do it and get away with it. But you see, the problem with that is eventually it will catch up to you. It's only going to be a matter of time before you run headlong into the realization that you really are in a situation that you don't know how to get out of. God opened the door for me to come to Lifeline Connect. When I got here, I was like, man, I'm going to go to rehab and I'm going to stay a year and I'm going to get clean and everything's going to be better and I'm going to leave and I'm going to head back home. I realized immediately also that I was surrounded by people who truly cared about me. They didn't know me. They didn't know anything about me. They had no reason to love me. They had no reason to care about me, but they did anyway. And through the course of just their investment in me, I began to allow God to work in my life. And I began to allow God to do things with me and, and, and speak to me and move on my heart. And as I did that, he began to change me from the person that I was when I got here, the man that you see on the screen, to somebody completely different. If you had known me as that man, there's no way that you would think I'd be where I am today. But because people were willing to take a chance and because people were willing to invest in somebody that everybody else thought was a lost cause, everybody else thought there was no point in investing. Lifeline does that. Those are the investments that they look for. They look for the investments that everybody else is willing to bypass. They look for the investments that everybody else thinks, well, there's no point. And those are the people that they invest in. And I was one of those people.